Hello and welcome to SIBO Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm with KKM Financial. We're looking at a VIX Cash holding in a pretty consistent range this week, right around 12 spot 75 to today. And with the markets continuing to realize less volatility on a week over week basis, we're looking at 30 day realized volatility or historical volatility running at about 8.5% week over week. And that is the lowest levels for the 52 week period. As the markets continue to hold at the top end of the range, yet volatility remains subdued. Looking at the At The Money Straddle and the SPX, 30 days out, implied vol level of 10.8%, and that's pretty much unchanged from last week. Moving into the VIX futures, we are seeing a contango in the VIX futures curve. Now remember, December expiration for the VIX futures is post-regular expiration, so it's a week from next Wednesday. You're looking at that December future holding 75 cents to uh, premium the cash. We're looking at that December, January roll holding a $1.75 a positive roll, and contango in the VIX futures curve, as I mentioned, all the way out to next summer. I also want to point out that all the VIX futures now are trading below 19. Options activity, uh, we're looking at some put action in uh, December, The uh, but we got, we got the 12, 13 puts trading in December. And also when you look at uh, January, out of the money uh, call fly trading, a skewed call fly trading on the 27, 30, and 35 lines, we're seeing that go up about 2,000 by 4,000 by 2,000. Next week, several things that can influence the vol structure. Number one, we have expiration for the indexes and the equities. Now VIX expiration, post-regular expiration. Fed speak next week with the Fed announcement. And additionally, momentum in the markets. As the SPX is holding here near the July highs, we're holding on to this range and the low vol structure, yet the momentum is continuing to hold. If we see it break through or one way or the other, then we could see the VIX move higher on a breakout.